Hey guys, it's Jane from Laser Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about a Battlefield 5 leak or a Battlefield 2018 leak. And this comes from somewhat of a credible source. Now, most of this other stuff, we don't really know where it came from, who it came from. Um, but this one is kind of weird. So it also could just be a troll. I'm just going to come right out front. This isn't anything necessarily um, like for sure, but it definitely has some pretty interesting evidence behind it. Um, so basically what this was is this was a tweet from somebody who in their profile they say they work at DICE which is like okay whatever that's not that big of a deal but they're actually followed by the official Battlefield Twitter page who doesn't follow very many people and they're also followed by some people from the DICE team. Now their account is has now been made private since the tweet was screenshotted and the tweet has been removed um, but of course people screenshotted it so one, this could just be somebody who accessed the account and trolled, but this also could be that person who's trying to let out some information, and then they got flack for it or something like that. So basically what they said is that um, the Russian Battlefield page has been posting some promotions about the first ba two bad companies, just saying, um, posting reviews of them about how they're some of the best games in the franchise and stuff like that. They've been posting stuff about Battlefield Bad Company 2 over the last few weeks. Um, and then this person tweeted out, Battlefield 2018 is BC3 or Bad Company 3, and like a wink face, I believe I, that might not be entirely it, but I put the tweet up on screen anyway. And we got some replies from people like Danny on BC and stuff like that who were definitely skeptical about it as they should be, but it is pretty interesting that they're followed by the Battlefield Twitter page. Now, if it is Battlefield Bad Company 3, what can we expect? Uh, Battlefield Bad Company 3, um, we're pretty much set around the Vietnam era, so this might be um, maybe set in Iraq or Afghanistan after the Vietnam War, um, around that time period in like the 1980s and 90s, um, or maybe they might even jump to the 2000s for the sequel. Um, what we also could see is them just sort of take a Battlefield Bad Company sort of feel to the series, but put it back into World War II. That has been a rumor that the ba next Bad Company could be just a, a flashback to World War II. Um, but we don't really know. The Bad Company is considered to have the best campaigns in the game, also some of the best destruction in the game, um, and it does take on a slower pace, so I'd be interested to see how they remedy that, um, because a lot of people complain that Battle Battlefield's too slow in the past, um, so I'm wondering if they're going to listen to their core fans and just keep it slow with the Bad Company series, or if they're going to try to cater to the masses um, and move forward with a faster movement speed. Um, now, in addition to this, something we could see is that Bad Company 3 is sort of just an ode to the fans of the franchise because a lot of them felt forgotten after Battlefield 1. They felt like they made the game too casual and stuff like that. And then the Battle Royale mode would be what would be like publicly popular and sort of the game where they go after the people who are with Call of Duty and with Fortnite and the rest of the market share. But they leave Bad Company 3 to just be sort of the ode to the fans and for the real hardcore fans of the franchise. Um, who have been here for a long time. All the people still play Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, and even the people that stuck around for Battlefield 1, um, just for those people. And the Battle Royale mode would be what would sort of like um, grow the franchise, um, at least this year. Because there is a rumor in Battle Royale mode, again, that's not confirmed either, um, but with, it seems like Call of Duty is going to bring one out. Um, I'd be surprised if Battlefield didn't bring one out as well because I'm sure both of them have inside info about what each other's working on. Um, they obviously don't get released publicly, but I'm sure both Battlefield and Call of Duty sort of know what the um, other team is working on. Um, now if you guys do think this rumor is going to come true, don't forget to tell me down below in the comment section. I was finally able to get some Battlefield 4 gameplay um, on the Dragon's Teeth DLC, kind of just going a nice little streak uh, with the Ace 53 SV and the Deagle. Uh, kind of a nice combo I like running on bigger maps, especially ones like Propaganda. Uh, Chain Link is just so fun on that game. Again, if you didn't see my last video, um, Dragon's Teeth is free, so there actually are servers running it, which is pretty awesome, something you don't really see. And Battlefield Wednesday Shall Not Pass is free as well. Um, tell me how you guys are enjoying the Battlefield franchise right now, what you guys want from the next event. Um, but they have also been teasing the road to Battlefield. So they did this last year, they started bringing out free DLC and that kind of stuff with the lead up to the Battlefield 1 announcement. And they said that the road to Battlefield has officially kicked off. They made a post on their website yesterday. Um, so I'd like to see something within the next two weeks in the form of a tease. Um, but what I personally think is that we're going to have to wait until after the Black Ops 4 reveal and maybe closer to EA Play on June 2nd um, until we see an actual tease. So I'm assuming maybe the week before that is when we're going to actually get it. 
Sad that we have to wait another month or like three, four weeks, but that's truly what I think is going to happen. Again, don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new here for the latest news on everything in the Battlefield franchise. That's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.